Hi, welcome to LB0 Fox India Norwegian Ham Ventures. I'm Morten, LB0 Fox India. And a couple of weeks ago, I had a strong case of being middle-aged. That is, my neck locked up, I couldn't move my head, couldn't do parks in the air, couldn't go out to portable radio. So I did whatever I did, what a self-respecting, self-loathing middle-aged man would do. I went on eBay. And I found this kit, Enfed Halfway Kit from Radiostuff.com. Looked nice, from Britain, kind of like Pectena ish by the fact that it's made on a PCB. And uh, I mean, it looks great on the pictures on eBay. So I order it and I figured I should build it. And well, actually, I have built it. I'm going to show you that now, but just as a warning. Um, I am no builder and that shows I'm actually really bad at doing this. So please do leave your comments down there and tell me everything I did wrong because I mean, there was a lot and I'm going to show you what's in the box. I'm going to show you the build and we'll be back in the studio in just a little bit. So let's take a look what's in the box here. First of all, you get the business card of uh, Chris Adel, M0, Victor Uniform Echo, um, and a link to radiostuff.com. Uh, you get some contact information in case you are wondering about the stuff and, uh, and things with this antenna. You get four zip ties. You get the antenna winder. Uh, this is a little bit special. We're going to take a look at this in a little while. And you get a bag of parts. So let's open the bag of parts and see what's inside here. So let's uh, let's see what's inside here. And the noise you're hearing in the background are just kids doing uh, homework. You get some enameled wire here for the uh, Anan. You get a SO239 connector. There's some more stuff inside here as well. Let's see if I can get everything out of the bag. You get the capacitor for the antenna. You get a ring connector some nice stainless steel, or at least I think it's stainless steel hardware for the uh, antenna connection. And you get the toroid. It's uh, 43140, I think it is, uh, at least according to the specs on the website. Then you get the winder here, which got some really nice Velcro, Velcro straps around it. Some uh, antenna wire. Let's just unwind the antenna wire. It actually looks like there's quite a bit of antenna wire here, and that's good. So let's unwind the antenna wire, and uh, we'll get right back. And what I've done now is I've just taken the antenna wire and just wound it over on one of the LB0 Fox India dipole winders, or the prototype winder for my antenna design. The antenna is out of stock on Etsy, and it's probably not going to be restocked because I am not able to make these at a point where it's worth the hassle of making those. But what you got here is the reason why this antenna enticed me. Uh, the entire winder is made out of PCB. And if you notice on the four screws here, one is different and that's because I managed to lose one. It hit the floor, it's a doing and I can find it. So you have the SO239 connector here. And from there, as far as I've seen, it's just a short jumper wire over to this solder point. Put the capacitor in here. And the windings for the toroid go here, here, and here. Uh, some room for some cable ties in order to fit the toroid to the, uh, to the PCB. And then it's for uh, the space for the antenna wire here with this piece of hardware just going inside the hole here. So this looks simple enough to, to build. 
I guess the biggest challenge here is to wind the toroid. And I am no expert in winding toroids. I've just made a few. So I'm not going to show you the winding, but we're going to get back to building the rest of the antenna after I wound the toroid. But the first impression here is um, really, really good. So what we're going to do now is that I'm going to start I'm going to wind the toroid. I'll be back here in what will seem like just a moment for you guys. And we'll get on to soldering the antenna and building it. So, I've wrapped the toroid. Not particularly well, but it, it's wrapped. It's wrapped as a 49 to 1. So we're going to do a couple of things. First of all, I'm just going to remove the screws here because I want the PCB here to be as flat as possible. Uh, And if we look at the PCB here, there are a couple of things we got to do. Uh, first of all, we need to uh, solder the capacitor in these two holes. Uh, the toroid, toroid goes here. Uh, and you attach the toroid at these three points. You have the antenna wire connection here. And that is pretty much it. But the first thing I'm going to do is to get some enamel off the enameled wire. And I am no experienced kit builder. Not by any means, not by far. And I'm even less experienced with magnet wire. But uh, I'm going to try to burn this off with some solder and we'll see what happens. And just so it's said for you guys, I want to leave some comments. Do not underestimate the complexity of soldering uh, through a ring light and trying to, to get the mic audio good as well. Uh, that is complex business. It is complicated. So uh, but I'm gonna see how well the soldering iron manages to just get the enamel off here. And it doesn't like look like it does that particularly well. So I got another trick up in my sleeve and this is not recommended. Um, I'm still gonna do it though. Uh, you take a knife just a small razor blade and you scrape off the enamel here and I'm not sure if you can see that but that seems to be working pretty pretty well but before we do that completely we're gonna figure out where to put this okay I've scraped and burnt everything off now so it's time to get some solder on here And as you can see, I'm no expert solderer. This is not what we, you would call a pretty solder job, but uh, it should work. And I'm a big proponent of making it work. Let's just get the cable ties in here straight away. And it seems like the cable ties and the kit are two different sizes. So make sure you check those out while doing it. It's the smaller ones that fit here. Not particularly pretty, but uh, should work. Let's get the capacitor in here. And there's a Norwegian saying that says, 
having the right tools is half the job. And uh, my toolkit is kind of a little bit everywhere after field day. So um, I'm using what I could find. And there are a couple of reasons why I'm doing this. It's also to show you that use whatever you have at hand to build whatever you need to build. It doesn't always have to be dead on perfect in order for you to make a kit work for you. Let's solder it here. Again, not the prettiest solder job. Put it up to the camera here. So we can get the camera to focus. It's not the prettiest job, but there was a connection there, and that's what I am thinking about here. And I should have some better tools here. We'll cut this after. No. Next up, screw the SO239 connector in place. And looks like there are a couple of ways to do this. The important thing here is that there's a mechanical connection uh, at the ground plane. And I actually got to check the picture of the uh, antenna to figure out which way this is going to be. So I'll be right back. And after looking at the cheat sheet, the plug is going in from the bottom here with the nuts on top. Let's get a screw through here and just fasten that temporarily. Getting these small M3 nuts to fit is half of the time it's a little bit of a hassle. Sometimes they just screw on easily. Other times you need to use a little bit more a little bit more luck actually to get them to fit. I am no no particular fan of the small screws but it is a necessity and uh small case like the this and the reason i'm not a particular fan about them is well to be honest uh, i'm getting close to 50 and my dexterity is not what it once was Let's see if we can get the last nut out here So, what we're going to do now is we got to have a jumper wire between uh, this hole right here and the SO239. And that doesn't really have to be too long. Let's cut a piece of magnet wire and see how long we can, or short we need it to be. And I'm guessing this is way too long. There we go, that's yeah, approximately the correct length. Let's uh, scrape off some of the enamel here. And if you don't get everything off, you can always just assume that the rest will be burned off with the solder. But um, even though people say you can 
you can burn this off with the solder. I've never had good luck with it. So I like to scrape it off to some degree first. And just using a small razor blade like this is enough. What you have to watch though, is if you cut it too much, you might induce a weak point into the magnet wire. And you don't really want to do that. And please don't trust my advice too much. As you can see, I am no an I'm not an expert kit builder. There we go. Not the prettiest job. Hopefully it'll do its thing. Final thing of assembly is to get the wing nut and the screw on for the antenna wire. Like this. And we'll just, so we don't lose this, put the ring terminal on as well. like this. So there you go. That's the assembly of the radio stuff and fit half wave antenna. And that's the build. I haven't tested it yet. I don't really have time at the moment to test it. Um, but I'm going to do that as soon as I have a day off to be able to go outside, measure some wire, put it on the analyzer and see. But the build was actually pretty easy for even a beginner like me. And for I think it's it's about 20 British pounds at the time of recording for this kit. So it's a great deal. Um, build quality and what you get in the box can't beat it. So uh, if you want a kit, if you want a project, I can give this at least this far without having tested the antenna a big thumbs up. So that's it for now. Please hit that like button if you like. Um, leave a comment down below. I'm sure you have a lot to comment on on this video. Um, also, there are a couple of ways down to support the channel. And if you're a watcher of Tears, the European Ham Radio Show, we are still on on Sundays, but at a different channel. We have our own channel now. It's at youtube.com at hamradioeu. And we also have a website, which is uh, hamradio.eu. So find us there. Check us out. Watch Tears every Sunday. That's it for now. Until next time, 7 3.